Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Karen reaction, and this is when Karens get what they deserve, police edition. But this is actually part one, even though I'm reacting to this one before part two. It's weird. I don't know why I've done it in that order, but I've seen the reaction to it was actually quite good. So, I mean, if people want me to react to it, I'm going to do it because for me, they're fun to do. It's satisfying to see someone who is, I mean, you know how it is, the most frustrating people in society seeing them get shut down it's just satisfying to see so yeah we're gonna just react to this pretty much and i mean if you want another one to this another reaction i'll be down to do that too but let's just jump into this hopefully going to enjoy and let's just see some karens getting shut down fighting can be entertaining especially when it's criminals versus cops that's why today we have for you not just any criminals fighting cops but karens fighting cops stay tuned because as this video goes on the clips just get better and better this next karen is literally what is his game by the way he's played it last time and it's so satisfying to watch i don't know what it is but it just looks fun to watch and i want to play it karen so a daughter and her friends were pulled over for having illegal tinting on their car and then their mum, Karen, shows up and has a few things to tell the officers. The storm of controversy started when Turner's daughter and three of her friends were pulled over in New Jersey for driving with tinted windows. The receipt, this goes on file. Mom rushed to the scene to find out what was going on. What is the reason they were pulled over? The driver has all the information, he'll tell you. No, 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 no. I need to know. No, you don't need to know. Okay. We're not involved here. You're picking them no, up? No, no, no. I'm involved. Very quickly, Turner let it be known that she is a commissioner with the Port Authority. She oh, was appointed God. by former governor Chris Christie. Why were they pulled over? Another person who has power thinking they can have control, just decide what goes on. Get out, man. Get out of it. Probably lost your job because of this. Probably did. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised with the internet uproar and stuff. Maybe you shouldn't lose your job for this, but I tell you what, if you think you can do stuff because you got power, can't complain when it all goes wrong. Now don't call me miss. I'm commissioner. Thank you. Turn her off. Oh, fuck off. Oh, places. mate. I will be talking to the chief of police. Please. And I will be speaking to the mayor. Throughout the exchange, the cops remain calm. You will be writing an apology when you lose your job and then you cry because you didn't mean it and it was the heat of the moment. That's what you will be doing. I'm shocked. I'm shocked and very disappointed. You, you Thank may, you, you for your help. Them. You may take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child. You may shut the oh up my and not God. tell me when I may take my kids and her friends okay. who are PhD students from MIT and Yale. Okay. You may Good for them. tell me. Smart people, you got to respect it. But just, what are you on? What's going on here? But once the tape was released, Turner was called boorish and the village idiot. Karen Turner. Does he say if she lost the turned out to be a commissioner with the Port Authority and was forced to resign after- Come on, let's go! Don't want to celebrate someone losing their job, but ice in the veins. You absolutely love to see it. And body cam footage was released. Unlucky Karen. Turner resigned under pressure from the Port Authority of New York. And oh, New Jersey, that is injected into my veins, man. <laughs> Honestly. The tirade was discussed here at the board's first meeting since that dash cam video was released. That is satisfying. The video is bullying and obstructionist. Turner now says, as a parent, I was upset and uncomfortable with the unfolding events. I regret my tone toward the police officers and use of off-color language. Okay. You may tell me nothing. For this next clip, this may I mean, if she's speaking to the police like that, imagine how she speaks to people who don't even have that sort of power, just your regular human. Obviously, police officers are regular humans, but I mean people who just don't have the power of a police officer, right? Imagine how she's going to speak to them. That's someone who you don't want as a commissioner or anything, man. Definitely not. Male Karen was at a school board meeting. He refused to wear a mask despite being offered one multiple times by organizers. Police end up rocking up and told him to wear one or leave. Of course, the bloke refused both options, so the police are given no option other than to resort to using force. Are you serious? Are you seriously going to do this? This is embarrassing. Are Yeah. So, force me out. 
Bro, what? Why? Why does he? He's like he's sort of promoting it. He wants them to do it. Why? You're gonna make yes. You're going to have to point, drag me out. At that point, you this is it. what you are doing. This poor, poor you police officer man. With our communities at that he just can't be asked, but he has to. It's disgusting. Do you harass your clients? And if, when when they're at your restaurant to put on masks, <laughs> sir. Do you harass them? We have a super selfish Karen who gets oh, caught texting and driving red-handed and then proceeds to argue with the officer who pulled her over. I need your license, your registration, and insurance. Well, let me just go back. Red-handed and then proceeds to argue with the officer who pulled her over. So she's done... I need your license, your registration, and insurance. Can you please put your feet in and close the door? Because it's for my safety and your safety. Well, you see my hands at all times. Is this against the law right there? Am I not allowed I need to have your license, this registration, and insurance, man? You're willing to text me. Yeah, give an easy life to like this. Dude, I'm not texting. You I'm were sitting. typing and you look, there's a picture there, and you're typing under with a green text bubble. Oh, he's got a picture of it, a recording. Oh shit! And you look, there's a picture there, and you're typing under with a green text bubble. I'm not comments texting. Comments on a comments on a picture. This is a little thing. Just okay. to let you, you know, know what? you're you may be an Go old ahead, man. So I use this little thing. Okay, I don't need your insurance. I'll pull it. I'll pull it up, ma'am. You there. are going to be issued a cite and citation today. And I talk in my phone like this. That's not see, some people will probably see this as petty. You know, because maybe because there's a lot of traffic, she's not actually driving. But at the end of the day, to stop people from doing it, you've just got to cut it out full stop. Even if you're stopping, if you want to text someone, pull over for a little bit. Like, or comments or whatever. Like, you're looking at co Instagram comments or likes or whatever. Like, but that's the sort of shit, that's the silly stuff that will end up leading to a, a death, like in a car crash or something. Like, yeah, maybe in this situation, she shouldn't be given fines or anything, but given a warning, all this kind of stuff. And maybe even a fine, because at the end of the day, you're still in your car driving on the road. Like, yeah. So, I mean, with this one, people may see it as petty, but I I think it's always good to just be strict with this kind of stuff on the roads, man, because you don't want someone to lose their life because of something like this. So. And this she's acting like this. This couple put on quite like, the man, show. On, Basically, Ken here was originally pulled over for yelling at someone. Oh, so they're called Kens then. I saw a comment on the last video that they're called Kens, but he was still calling them Karens. But... On his phone while driving, and when the officer goes to handle the citation, he gives him the finger and hits a cop as he rather aggressively drives away. Assuming this was in Alberta, it's actually illegal to flip anyone off for that matter, let alone hit them with your car. Inside the hospital yeah. right now. I'm sitting in my vehicle and I'm keeping my okay. composure, but I want this guy to f off. Like, seriously, he's hey, giving yeah. me a tick. Hello? Hi, this is Ziggy from Deliveroo Riders Support, calling for order number 6312. Okay. Thurston? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm really sorry, but actually the shop or restaurant is already closed. The rider just got there and everything was closed down already. So. Order already got cancelled and your payment is now void and you won't be charged. Any pending payments will disappear from your bank statement after a few days. I'm really sorry. Alright, no worries, mate. Appreciate it. Alright, I just wanted to make sure that you're fully aware. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thanks for picking up the call. Cheers, mate. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to keep that in. <laughs> I ordered food an hour ago and they're now telling me that it's. The, the shop is closed? What's going on here, man? Oh, get out. Oh, I'm sad. Ticket for stunting because he heard me yelling at someone on my phone. And then I fingered him on the way out of okay. there and told him to mind his business. And he's pulling me over fingered for stunting what? again. I feel like driving away and starting a high speed sir. chase. This is over policing. Yes, sir. Sir, sir. Just let me put you on hold for one second. Did he just say he feels like high speed? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait what? Has he just confessed that he's going to like. Drive off at speed and just drive away from him. What's going on here? Guy. There I am on the phone with your fucking boss, you d and try and bully me, you piece of Five oh sixty seven dollars? Are you fing serious? I'm waiting for your boss to call me Christ, off and get in your car. Loud as shit. You're a fing little bitch. Give me my ticket and go f yourself, goofball f you. F off you 
Yeah. What the fuck? Get clown! Man. You're just causing more problems for yourself, you donut. He like pushed himself against your vehicle and was like, you just hit me. So now we have that to look forward to. These well then don't act like fucking stupid children then. What are you at what why are you acting surprised when now you're gonna get in even more trouble? Just act like a flipping grown adult, man. Yes, What's man. going on? Sakes. <laughs> Again, here we go. What are you doing? He didn't do anything. <laughs> Send more people, please. There's another officer here, but he just told me to shut up. Please help. They're beating him up. Please don't. Hang up. I'm scared. Okay. <sighs> he's under arrest and he's going to be held for a bail hearing. So he'll be under arrest until he speaks to a judge. You deserve released. every single bit of that because you promote, not promote him, but you weren't not necessarily trying to stop him. You were just sort of egging him on and acting as if you were the victims in this whole situation. How about you try and tame him and calm him down and then maybe he won't do that. Obviously, he's still more to blame. But how she's crying on all this stuff as if she's not part of this and how he's not like in the wrong like come on man why do you why can't you just obviously maybe be pissed off in a situation but don't just drive like drive off like that and just just try and cause a situation you're just being stupid man you can't drive your vehicle into a police officer he didn't he, he was did. pulling I was standing away. right here and he pulled into the side he sideswiped me it's I the same as any other motor vehicle collision I except for that it was with the person he did it intentionally he, can I please take this vehicle home like yeah. I you can't drive with the window like that, so you might want to pull the rest of it out. I'm not helping you. This Karen manages to capture herself harassing oh, a cop damn. who also happens to be her neighbor. Send me a citation. I would love to see that. Obsessive of porn. And I have rear cameras on, on the way as well. I beeped at you, yeah, because you yeah, shouldn't like, be like trying to break into buildings. Break into buildings. I just showed you that lift here. Okay, but before that, I didn't know that, did I? Is it your business once again? I live it's here, not. so it's safety of it's me not. and my building, well, it you is. See, I have my key right here. Okay. And you're being recorded too. Good. Okay? Like That's good. You'll be on your citation. I'm not getting a citation. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll fight it tooth and nail. Fight it. You're still getting one. Well, I'm not going to pay <laughs> it. I'll see you in court, though. I'll see you in court, or when you neighbor. Or for failure to pay it. Here we have Karen vs. Cop Karen. <laughs> While the dude recording here definitely cop has Karen. a point regarding the cops not wearing masks, you can also see no one else is in the store. So they are maintaining their social distance. Guys, let me know what you think of this one in the comments because I'm sort of on the line. If I don't wear a mask, I'm just not wearing What? This is the fine. That's probably best community for you guys if I don't wear right. a mask. I'm just curious. Like, well, you got all the Actually, it states that as long as you can maintain six feet distance, you don't have to wear if you want to step within six feet of me, I'll gladly put on the mask. Okay. So would you like to do that? I mean, I feel like you guys are living less than six feet of each other. You're the one that approached us, so would you but want I'm to six keep feet the away distance? Though. I'm six, six feet away though. Okay, now we're six feet away and I don't have to put on my mask. I mean, I mean, you got, I mean, you should probably wear a mask during a global You're the person that calls stuff. someone, you know what I mean? Like someone selling like water bottles on the streets. Well, well, I, you're the person that calls them, that's what you want. <laughs> and I carry with like the whole group carry. Oh shit! Hey, hold on, what's your name? Yeah, you're not gonna remember it. Say, have a nice you. day, man. Thank you, you too. Yeah, you too. Take care, Karen. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. So, I mean, I wasn't. I don't know. It's hard to judge because if you're so like, there's two types of people: people who don't, who obviously don't wear masks when they're in a situation where you have to, like, you should wear a mask, right? Or this is how it was back like a year ago. It's not necessarily. Well, it's not like it's in the UK now. Thank God. All the rules are taken away and we just live in like normal pretty much now but if you're the type of person to, to go up to someone like this when they're not wearing a mask and then you're complaining that they're not social distancing and stuff like at the same time it's just like you're just a bit you just got nothing going on in your life you know but at the same time i guess they're police officers they should be the ones enforce. they're the ones who enforce the laws and then they should be the one one following it so yeah this one's a bit sticky but still overall this is a fun reaction it's always sad when the mature, responsible one in the car is the dog. You can't drive with your window like this, so you'll have to remove the rest of it. I'm, I'm not helping you. Yeah, it got me, man. <laughs> Do you know how pissed a Canadian has to be to tell you he won't help you? Yeah, that got me, man. But this was a fun reaction. Hopefully you enjoyed this. These Karen videos are always just satisfying to see. And yeah, if you want more of this, let me know in the comments. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.